It's LinkedIn Learning author Monica Wahi with today's Data Science Makeover. Watch while Monica Wahi demonstrates reading a CSV into R. Hi, everybody. We are first going to start by me demonstrating reading in this CSV called Line Item CSV into R using the read.csv command. This is just a fake data set of cost line items. It has a bunch of IDs, then this continuous variable, tot cost, total cost, yeah. Okay, we'll read this in. Let's go over to R. Okay, here we are in R GUI. Please make sure if you are following along that you put your CSV into your data directory first, then point your console at the data directory. Here's where you go. See that? That's how you change the working directory in Windows R GUI. On the Mac, it's a little more complicated. I'll give you a link in the description to a blog post for the Mac users so you can set your directories in R GUI on a Mac. Okay, let's go back to the code. First, we are going to name the data set that we are putting in R's brain. We are going to name it line items. Okay, then next to it, we put our little arrow, the less than sign followed by a dash, and the read.csv command. Then we see parentheses, so we know it's going to be an argument. What are in the parentheses? We have three things. The first thing is the name of the file, which is lineitems.csv. Because I made you set the working directory to where you put your data file, then you can just put the name of your CSV file in here. Don't forget the quotes around the name and the .csv extension. Here's the next argument. Header equals true. This means we have a header row, which I showed you. Most data sets do, so you'll probably be putting header equals true here for your data set too. Okay, here's the last argument. We have to tell R what the separator is, and that's what set means. Of course, we have a comma separated file, so we want to say that sep equals comma. All right, don't forget the commas between the arguments, and don't forget to put the quotes around the file name and the comma in the sep argument. And don't forget to close the parentheses. Great. Now, I think we are ready to run this code. I'm going to highlight it and do Control R. OK, looks good so far. Now, if I want to look at my data set in R, I can just highlight the name I gave it and do Control R. And beautiful. Gorgeous. The data are inside R's brain. Thank you for watching this Data Science Makeover with LinkedIn Learning author Monica Wahi. Remember to check out Monica's Data Science courses on LinkedIn Learning. Click on the link in the description.